<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the Beatles. Good evening. I'm Baked Salmon. Have you ever taken a whiff of sour milk, even though you're certain it is rancid as hell? Why do we go against our better judgment? Perfect example. I don't like tomato juice. Truth is, I hate it. Yet, when I was 24, a friend came over to my house to party, and he brought everything we needed to make Bloody Marys. I knew tomato juice was nasty shit, but I figured, what the hell. We got wasted, had a good time, but then my stomach started gurgling. Long story short, I nearly made it to the toilet, but only succeeded in painting the bathroom red with tomato juice. It honestly looked like there had been a murder. I try not to go against my better judgment, and I'm mostly successful in that endeavor. Recently, however, I failed. I watched a video I knew I wasn't going to like. If you're a fan of To Catch a Predator and Hanson vs. Predator, you're likely aware of the YouTube channels that have taken up the charge of catching predators online. Anxiety Wars is one that seems to get a great deal of hype. Here's the thing. For me, I don't really care for that content. I support creeps being exposed, but the work these channels do, or at least the videos that they put out, they just don't appeal to me. I think their work and the work of Chris Hansen are miles apart, so I just don't watch them. I got my T-cap and Hansen vs Predator and I'm good. A long time ago I poked my head into the new style of Predator content. I took a look around and it wasn't for me. So why I decided to whiff the milk again recently is anybody's guess. But whiff it I did, and predictably, it stunk. This shit that I'm going to show you, it, it's outrageous. It literally pissed me off. So buckle in, we're going to analyze the sting from a channel called Predator Poachers. Alright, be sure to like this video right now and turn on post notifications and share this video because this guy is a really big creep. All right, see you all there. Now right away, Big Dog here rubs me the wrong way. This is Alex. There will be two Alexes in this video today, so Predator Poacher Alex, we'll call him PP Alex. He has the attitude of someone just out to belittle people. I immediately thought of the doofus jocks from high school, which is kind of funny. This is like y'all in high school just sitting on the corner all huddled and shit with like the six foot four jocks over you. <laughs> the vibe I get from this guy is that this is more about shaming others, feeling like a big man, and less about protecting children or bettering society. Like, solid. Like, what, what did you and the eight-year-old do together, like, on the phone? His driving technique alone tells us something about his overall level of consideration for others. One leg up, talking and texting on the phone. People get creamed on the road all the time by distracted drivers. This is almost a parody of bad driving. Our first hint at the level of tolerance that we can expect from P.P. Alex comes in the form of a joke which Vincent Nicotro would be proud of. But, um, yeah, so like, what are, what, um, so like, do you like have a job or anything besides uh, collecting our tax money that I get via Super Chat? Yeah, what did you do? I work as a busser at a uh, restaurant. Oh. Well, what do they call you, a short busser? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. You did, did you get that, or are, you too, or are you too much on the short bus to understand that one? Uh, too much to uh, understand that. If Vince is watching this, hey man, you should consider going after this guy for stealing your bid. But as you just heard, Alex has hooked a predator who, apparently, has special needs. 
Now, before I continue, I want to say that a mental disability in no way gives someone a pass when it comes to child predation. Hell, the simple fact that one is attracted to children is a sign of mental trouble. I will guess that the drive for someone who is intellectually and developmentally disabled to seek out companionship with a minor, it may differ from others. Surely there are factors that I'm not qualified to calculate. Bottom line, I have a hard time painting all of the predators with the same brush. I can chuckle at Lorne, crying out, Oh God! when he gets the big reveal. The subject of this predator poacher sting does not make me chuckle in the slightest. Anywho. Alex is awful bossy. We start to see that in the way he commands one of his camera guys. This camera guy, by the way, gets real uncomfortable as this goes along. At one point, he even dips out. It may have been the plan all along, but I wouldn't be surprised if he hadn't simply had enough. So let's get a look at our predators. Bruh. Our two alleged predators are individuals with special needs. The female fiance, also named Alex, clearly has Down syndrome. Now most people would choose to not use her condition as the punchline to a joke. PP Alex does it many times. The other predator is Brad. Now Brad is alleged to have sent CP to PP Alex. Brad himself states that he has had sex with young family members. The reason Brad is at the mall is, allegedly, to meet with a boy in the bathroom stall and do a little bit of the water sports. Brad is dangerous, it would appear, if he is not monitored. Catching him is the best part of this story. What I take exception with is the disgusting behavior displayed by PP Alex, and Alex doesn't take long to get disrespectful. I'm certain that there are plenty of folks who will say that common courtesy goes right out the window when you're dealing with child predators, but I don't agree. It's a strange position for me to take considering my content, but this guy, PP Alex, he has shown me that it is possible to go too far. What, what do you want me to call you? Brad. All right, Daddy Long Neck and Mommy No Neck. How's it going? Okay. It doesn't get any better. Okay. So, oh no, not by a long really shot. Do it just Tuesday. gets worse and worse. I was been, um, um, hang out with, um, um, and I, was, I wasn't interested in any kids. Fiance Alex's devotion to Brad, it's really quite touching. I feel badly for her the most. Now, I don't know to what extent she can be held accountable for knowing why they were at the mall or the disgusting plans her fiance had made with a person he thought was a minor. I just know my heart goes out to her. Bradley here, we learn later, is considered a minor by the state of Texas, so I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that she may be similarly diagnosed. What did you say right here? Sure. Sure what? I, I like young guys. Is it on camera? Yeah, you like young guys? I so don't like you, young guys. Do you see what your fiance said? I like young guys. You know what? I believe him. Right. Well, what does it say right here? Alright. No, I'm not mad at you. I'm, I'm not upset. Okay, so I am engaged. My girl said I can still marry her and be with this, be with this, be with the two Ed. No, second person. Does that mean two cards, two Eds right no. here? Two special Eds, two cards. No. It well, means, I bet it already makes two of y'all. Yeah. Person no. who would date someone who is engaged. So you're cool with him dating around other people? Yes or no? Yeah. Huh? Right. Yeah. Okay, so you're cool with him dating other people? Yes or no? Yes, Alex. Yeah. Are you, you know he's you know he's bullying you and intimidating you. Are you aware of this? I don't want to hear this. Okay, he is not. On the phone, I have everything recorded. Did you say we're going out? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so you were dating a 14-year-old boy. Yes yeah. or no? You were? No. Well, I don't. Be I don't, on. I don't, I don't. Be honest. Yes or no? Were you dating a 14-year-old boy? Yes. So do you hear this? Your your boyfriend was dating a 14-year-old boy. I, he says he does. He, he doesn't do it. I believe him. It's like he said he was. So do you believe that he was dating a 14-year-old boy? I can't talk to him. Oh, yeah. uh, yes, you are. That part wrecks me. When PP Alex says, "Yes, you are," she turns to her rock, 
her fiance, who sadly is not the pillar of strength that she is hoping for. Oh, yes, you are. He was dating two Alexes. Isn't your name Alex, ma'am? No, different. Yeah, he was dating two Alexes. Both with big tits, big saggy tits, too. What? That, of course, a reference to PP Alex and Brad's fiance Alex, both having sagging t Hi. I don't get down with ridiculing people in general, certainly not regarding their bodies, Lauren's dick being the exception. Now, this is you right here, isn't it? Yes. Put it again, put it again. Send me a pic of you, nude or not, up to you. Did you ask him for a nude picture? Yes or no? Yes. Why did you ask a 14-year-old boy for a nude picture? Brad goes on to admit that he solicited nude photos and explains that he wants his menage a deux to be a menage a trois, claiming his fiancée is on board. Here, P.P. Alex is going to give them another witty retort. Let's watch. This is a horrible relationship y'all have going on. You know, you know what? If I had to choose one song to describe y'all's relationship, it would be Toxicity by Syndrome of a Down, if you see what I did there. You are cute. Do you like sending nude photos? Why are you asking an underage kid for a nude? Is that legal or illegal? It's illegal. Okay, why'd you do it? Hey, chill out, bro. The fiance Alex's stress level is through the roof. It's so hard to watch. Immediately after she says, He is scaring me. It sounds like the cameraman says, Hey, chill out, man. I can't be sure. Hey, chill out, man. Most people, I have to believe, would be disgusted by the way that PP Alex is conducting the sting. The camera guy, I believe, is participating for the first time. Talk about trial by fire. Right here, too. Seemingly embarrassed and wanting to leave the mall, the camera guy suggests that they take the data to Brad's house to show his parents. What if I called him? Should I call him? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, we should just pull up to him, huh? Yeah. Do your parents know you are doing this? Why are you trying to hide it? So do you know that you had an illegal relationship with an underage kid? No, I didn't know. You didn't? So why are you trying to hide it? Why, why do you Meanwhile, want to, the why stress meter off the charts for fiance Alex. Hi. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Man. Can you please take it easy on me? Because I, I, I'm trying. You to... have to answer my question, or I'll have your f arrested. This part here. Now I may be overanalyzing. Gee, you think? PP Alex threatens that he might have Brad arrested. When fiance Alex understands the seriousness, she grabs Brad's arm and makes eye contact, searching for reassurance. When it fails to materialize. She loosens her grip on his arm, stares at her hand a moment, and then lets go. She is on her own. That whole thing, it's Shakespearean. I want to be with, like, at least three people. Uh-huh. And my and and my girlfriend has to help me. When you're with someone, it's wrong to be with, it's wrong to be with, it's wrong to be Take off your mask and talk to me. It's wrong to be with someone else. So... Can we please wear a mask? I don't. I don't want to. Um... Yeah, well, just to Shut up. Now I believe there is a level of decency that one must display when purporting to be delivering justice. I would even say a sense of humility should be apparent. We are none of us perfect, after all. The fact that this dickhead goes about busting predators like he is sent from God, and is righteous and above reproach. It sure seems like bad behavior. Am I watching a bad guy being busted by a lesser bad guy? Is it me? I want to know in the comments if I get much support here. So you dated an 8, a 10, a 15, and a 16, and you're married to a, a 1. Well, your fiance is a 1. Well, not underage, but she just, she's just a 1 out of 10. 
A lady who had apparently been eavesdropping comes to check on fiancé Alex. And, well, let's see how this plays out. It looks like a 14-year-old. Is it yours? Can I can I see? Oh, hey, so these two right here? Oh, yeah, yes you do. Hey, 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 listen, listen. Shut these up, two, these, two, these two right here? These two right here? Chill out, bro. It's going. It's going. You can... Yeah, I understand. That's what we're gonna do. So just let me do what I'm doing right now. Okay. You can say you love me all you want. Can you please send me a picture of you with no clothes? Fiance Alex is struggling with her fight or flight urges. It's just brutal. Did you do it? That, 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 that I did. You wanted to be his dad over the phone. You were so rude to Jackson over the phone. You were a piece. Of and you're the same way. You were a piece of shit to Alex over the phone, and now you're a piece of shit to your wife Alex, too. You're a piece of shit. You're gonna go fing to hell. Yet you are polygamous. You're freaking, you're acting like a Mormon. What is that? A Mormon is the religion where it's stupid white people that date around. Oh, I you're a Mormon, yes. You're a Mormon without the second M, a moron. Okay, I, I will say this, I have learned disabilities. Cool. A moron is you, you understand, you just, just got a little there, Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to start a new church after I get you canceled from your first one. You're gonna start the cult of moronism. You're gonna date all the Down syndrome bitches on earth, bro, I promise. I'll be ready for you. Now after that comment, check out Brad. He looks like he's about had it. In typical dickhead fashion, I mean, it's right out of high school. P.P. Alex dares him to come at him or something. Here you go. Yeah, keep shaking. I f***ing dare you. I love that f***ing. I hope you f***ing suffer right Shut now. the f*** Tonight. Do not worry, honey. Send me another person. So now I want you to explain your attraction to younger people. Why are you attracted to young guys? Because that's the very, very first thing you told me yeah. right here. I can explain that very easily. Uh-huh. And are y'all listening? Obviously. What follows, and I'm not going to include it in this video, Brad goes on to explain that he himself was violently molested at age 12 by a neighbor, and this has somehow affected him to the point that he seeks sex with minors. It's just awful. So you look at all these layers that make up who Brad is, and how it all affects his decision making, and I can tell you, I would not be qualified to pass judgment on Brad for this attempted sexual abuse on a minor. I'm damn sure PP Alex is not qualified. Probably the only thing that PP Alex and I could agree upon is Brad is a very real threat to the public and his parents and the police need to be alerted. But why all this thuggish posturing? Well, because PP Alex is a bully. Pull me out of the room. Alex, please look. Alex, can, can, can you, can you please turn, please at least turn it off and pull him down? No. Shut the, God damn, dude. I can call the police. I can call your dad, or you can call your dad. You choose. It's up to you. Can I call my dad and you talk to him? Yes. I have to end this because I, I don't want to go to jail, okay? So. <laughs> and. and the, Disney dad? Hey, dad, I'm in a little bit of trouble. I, 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 it's wrong. A guy needs to talk to you. He's from Predator Cultures. He's here at the mall today. He, his intention was to go meet a 14-year-old boy, a boy, in the bathroom stall to pee in his mouth. Correct, Brad? Yes or no? Sure. Say it loud and proud. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll see you there, sir. Uh, we haven't laid a hand on him. We're not planning on doing that at all. We're just uh, questioning him, and we'll, we'll see you soon, sir. The camera guy. Imagine the cringe he is feeling. Especially, as I believe, this is his first day volunteering to film. Now, I could be mistaken, as the two camera guys are not on screen, but the funnier scenario is that the camera guy is learning on the job that the reality is less appealing than he had imagined. So, you're going to take a ride with us, okay? Okay, we're going to jail? Well, we're going we're gonna to go over to your dad's house and you just sit in the back, alright? I sit in the back? 
Yeah, that's that's shit be done. No, don't do that. We can't do that. Like, am I gonna be able to get out? We don't. Car? Yes, we don't have a cop car. We're driving to your dad's house. All right, am I going straight to my dad's house? And what? Straight to your dad's house. So get your ass up and go. Bro, this is kidnapping. Get close. Get close. What's up, guys? Alex Rosen here with the Make a Wish Foundation. Shut the f with the bro. Keep filming it, bro. Bro, don't make a fucking scene. Right I'm now, with bro. these two people right here that love my YouTube channel. They love it so much. They want to be the predators themselves. There would seem to be a draw for someone like me who loves TCAP to want to view this channel and others like it, but the content is generally too amateurish for my tastes. The TCAP episodes were actually produced well, and there was just enough levity to go with the seriousness. I admit, this crap, it's too much for me. I can't handle it, I suppose. And good, I say. I mean, I wouldn't want to be the person that watches this garbage and laughs and thinks good. face here is the goat. Well, make -A -Wish, Predator Poachers is partnered with the Make-A-Wish Foundation to have two reach on our channel. Um, Jesus. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Hey, let's get a big round of applause. Stephen Hawking finally got out of his wheelchair. He had to sacrifice 99% uh, of his IQ to get out of his wheelchair, but hey, shout out to Stephen Hawking for getting out of his wheelchair. Take your fucking ass to GameStop, or I'm gonna say what you're really here for. Shut your ass up. Take, take your ass to GameStop, or I'm gonna say what you're really here for. Both of you are fucking predators. Predator, predator. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Shut your How tall are you? I think you have Down syndrome because you're so fucking low to the ground, not because you're retarded. <laughs> shit. Open the fucking door, bitch. Hey, so I want you to know these two right here, I don't know if y'all are familiar with Brad here. He's a frequent customer of this place. So Brad has, he admitted to having a relationship with an eight-year-old and he came for a 14-year-old. Brad right here, and don't be fooled by his wife right here. Yes, shut up, yes. She There's a point where PP Alex and myself see eye to eye. It has to do with the notion that police cannot catch all of these chomos, so assistance from the public is an acceptable option. Beyond that point, Alex and Predator Poachers, they take a hard left away from what I think is just, and the content becomes something I cannot relate to at all. Oh yeah, yeah, what the f are you gonna do? Really, has he really preyed on a fucking eight-year-old? And you're gonna say, don't you got better things to do? What the f are you gonna do, bro? Hey, bro. Hey, if y'all if y'all don't give a f that somebody fucking preying on a kid, then I swear to God, bro. What the f are you telling me, bro? Hey, let's get the f out. You're not gonna do jack, bro. Guys, oh fuck, how big you are? Knock the shit out of you, punk ass. bitch. Okay, here's the thing. This dude is going to get knocked out. It's only a matter of time. Dudes who talk shit like this, they get knocked out 100%. Let's go, Brad. And all that, he had, and if you keep going through, he admits to having a relationship with an eight year old, a 10 year old, a 15 year old, and a 16 year old. All that. Yep. You're lucky he didn't feature. Because if he, tried, if he tried anything on you, I wouldn't stop him. I would probably go off the Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, we'll just show both. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, bro. Great meeting you, man. Hey, anytime you want to come, just let me know. All right. And here the camera guy takes his leave. He was probably planning on that for quite a while. There just can't be a ton of people who are capable of putting up with Alex for a long period of time. So that is as much of the video that I can stomach. There's still another 20 or 30 minutes of footage. I'll link to it in the description. The dude has 77,000 subscribers, okay? Odds are, I am the oddball who needs to lighten up and enjoy. But that's not gonna happen. I came across this video organically and was obviously shocked. I debated whether I should do my brand of analysis on this channel. I went back to it a few times to see if it was really worth the effort. 
Each time I would just type in predator poachers in the search bar and their channel avatar would appear at the top and that's what I would click on. But one of those times I decided to scroll down through the search results and that's when I made up my mind to make this video. Where are you, black? Yeah, it's probably a fat angry nigger or something. Oh, you're right. Do you know what you need to do with your life dude, after he has, this? Dude, he has to power up like a vampire. It's because he only sucks at night. Queer. <laughs> he doesn't look like kind of Dracula. Hey, you know, Chris. To suck? Chris, you know what you need to do with your life after this? End it. So Sit the f right there. Are you mentally f handicapped? I'm, sorry. I'm gonna call 911. No, please. Please call don't 911. Cops will be here in a second. Get the f away. Please don't. Do this. don't. Get the f away from me. Get off me, son. Get him! Get him! You see, when something smells this rotten, there are already eyes and ears on it. It's funny that I decided to take another look at the TCAP clones, and the video I jump into is this shoddy example of predator catching. Now, that's my opinion, of course. Predator Poachers has about 77,000 subscribers that would beg to differ. If you want to see just how supportive the fans of Predator Poachers are, look at the comments for the video I was just analyzing. My takeaway from looking at this guy's body of work, he appears racist, homophobic, reckless, infantile, brutish, and he writes exactly like I would have expected. We are none of us perfect. Everything I dislike about Alex and Predator Poachers, there's just as much that he would dislike about me. I think the fact that he has so much support is not really surprising. Since COVID, humans have displayed all sorts of behavior that I hadn't expected. So I mean, if I said this guy was the worst individual out there, it would be clear that I had not been paying attention to the world around me. Alex from Predator Poachers, he's out there entertaining a lot of people. Whether I like him or not doesn't make a damn bit of difference. If you like his style, check him out. You won't find anything similar on my channel. I like to be a bit more cultured. Check me out. Smoking jacket, pipe, turntable. Safe in my salmon persona, far from the gritty streets where the real predators stalk their prey. I'm not actually a fish. Super groovy, sparkly thanks to the band of merry pranksters, my patrons. These cats, every one of them, is showing me mad love, and I don't even know how to express my sincerest appreciation. Dummy Dad, Kelp Hill, Tech Rex 71, Cat G, Wes Most, Michael's T Cap Channel, Ramiro Sam, M1A, T Cap Recipes, Aero Doe, Graham Graham. Dr. K, Tiffany Lockhart, Amanda James, Joey's TCAP Channel, Michelle Simpson, Uriel Gray, Moody Booty, The Lorne Identity, Nathan Ramon, I'm Just Being Honest, Rhoda's Chewed Tootsie, Saul, Claudette, Many Syllables, Patrick TCAP Ireland, Twink Toilet's Friend's Mom's Cancer. C and J Dev. Julie. After Supper Biscuit. Callie Lady. Molly. And from way, way, way. Gooey Goo. And thanks to all of you viewing the video, leaving comments, 
I love you all. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.